Hey Zips fans, Spencer German of the Zips Digital Network here with the head coach of Akron Softball, Megan Pettipiece, as we get ready for another week of softball action coming up this weekend. Coach, obviously last weekend, we'll look back a little bit first, uh, started the weekend with two losses, finished strong, they've got the two wins over Georgia State, and then I'll wrap it up with a win over Bryant. Just what were your overall thoughts on your team's performance last weekend? Uh, well, I think we actually came out really, really strong in the, our first game, and I think everybody's expectations were to have a little more success on the weekend. And, uh, you know, when our bats didn't really come around that game, which, you know, was the first time we experienced that uh, this season, uh, it just, you know, it took a little bit longer for us to kind of get moving and, and going. It was a long trip. Um, no excuses, though. We just, you know, it was like we left our bats behind in Ohio this weekend. But um, we definitely came around, worked on some other aspects of the game, and, and, you know, got things together by the end. So it was nice to finish with two wins last weekend. You mentioned the bats going quiet. That had kind of been your calling card the first two weeks of the season. You guys were putting up a ton of runs. But you did get some solid pitching performances last yeah. weekend, which obviously is an area of progress for you guys. Just what's, how do you get both those things now functioning mm -hmm. together when you're going out there consistently and trying to win games? Well, I think the nice thing is, is at the beginning of the season, we We've really gotten a lot of confidence at the plate and just because of one weekend, you know, it was nice to allow the pitchers or another aspect of our game carry us through wins and they could see that it can work both ways. So I think it was really productive for our team and them getting, gaining that confidence in our pitchers, you know, and knowing that they're going to, you know, step up when they need to. So that was good. How valuable is it this early in the season when you have these non-conference games, these non-conference tournaments, where you can sort of have some time to figure out what your identity is and sort of where your areas are improvement are and just sort of bring things along as they as they come? Well, as a new coaching staff this year, that, that's really huge for us and trying to create a new culture and a winning mindset, um, being able to win games and learn how to win. You know, so the preseason is really important for us this year because we're setting a big foundation for what we're moving forward with. So hopefully the girls are taking all the little things on, on both ends of the game and, and taking it with them into conference. And then from an off the field standpoint, how big important, how important rather are these tournaments just from a chemistry standpoint where your team gets to sort of build some chemistry build that camaraderie, go on these long trips together, long bus rides, but I'm sure they have some fun in, in the process as well. Oh yeah, well, they definitely have fun and you know we have these long, long trips and you know it's neat to see the girls coming out of their shells a little bit, getting more involved with some of the other players on the team and uh, for as a team it, I think it does wonders. Those are like the memories that you have forever as well and so it's part of the experience of being a Division One athlete and traveling so I think they're, they're definitely getting the most out of it and they're having fun so even when we're getting back late at night they're all still smiling and, and having a good time. That's good. And obviously, you got another long trip coming up. You guys are going to Florida for the Jacksonville and North Florida tournament. You got Stony Brook, Jacksonville University, University of North Florida, and Purdue all playing in that one. Not necessarily asking for a scouting report on them, but what are you looking for more so from your team progress wise this weekend against those teams? Well, I think that this weekend would be a good weekend to really focus on putting all the pieces together. Um, kind of each weekend, we've had a different thing that we've focused on, and I think that we've developed them. And like you said, it's nice to to be able to have a tournament like this to face some a little bit better teams, I think, um, and for us to have an opportunity to face some, you know, better pitching as well and, and just show what they have all together as a team. All right, well, you can follow along with all things Akron softball over at GoZips.com. Coach, best of luck to you and the team this weekend. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching, as always, and Go Zips.